Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty, pretty bad news going on on the future of the Xbox and Xbox Series X, where there's actually been a pretty big insider report that was leaked that actually could be pushing one of the worst, if not the most awful things out there when it comes to gaming. And what I mean by that is that they're actually maybe integrating brand new things that I'm sure most gamers and most people out there do not want to have. And especially for me who kind of does a lot of content up on Twitch, not a lot of content up on YouTube, I would hate, 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 hate to see this. And this is kind of one of those rare, I think in my opinion, justified rant videos going out here because sometimes in life, you don't want to be dealing with what Xbox is about to be doing. And that's in regards to them now trying to go and implement ads during other various games and other various gameplay sessions just to go and make a little baby bit more money. But at the same time, when it comes to running up ads, we actually have a sponsor for this video too as well. And I thought that would probably be the one of the best segues out there. So I'm going to let you my old self go and actually give you guys a nice introduction to one of the coolest sponsors who's actually sponsored our channel itself here before. So I'm gonna let that ad go and roll, and after that we have a lot of news to go cover, and it's probably, honest to God, not that best news over here, but at least the good news, it's a sponsor, pretty cool, and it is also Easter, so I'm gonna let myself go and roll. Hope you guys enjoy the ad right here. Thank you, Opera GX, once again for sponsoring our channel. And if you guys have seen my previous sponsors with them, you guys know this is one of the best gaming browsers out there. There's so many awesome features. We're going to go show you guys some. And as well, there's also ongoing, always brand new features and even brand new features as of right now, since the last time we actually did a sponsor and segment with them. There's a lot of cool stuff that I think if you guys are gamers are really, really going to utilize and also enjoy. And best of all, it is all free. One of the really cool things out here, and I'm sure you guys have maybe heard this from previous videos, is they have literally so many internal integrations. So if you guys ever want to use, say, your Discord, your Twitch, your Twitter, or anything out there of the sort, you guys can basically go and utilize this just inside the browser itself. And that alone is probably one of my favorite features, especially for me. You know, I'm always looking for restocks. I'm always looking for news and everything out there up on Twitter, just talking to my friends. But as well, one of the cooler features out here too as well is animated backgrounds. They're also super easy to go get to too as well. You just have to click on this button at the very top over here, get more wallpapers. And as you guys can see from all these tabs, over here they now have them also even animated it takes only one second you click on it it's all added on it's beautiful and as well on top of that too speaking of add-ons there's even a brand new bunch of extensions and as well you can also even utilize the chrome extensions themselves so if you guys are more familiar with other browsers and you guys are tempted but maybe you're being held on over for any small reason there is basically no reason not to go and download opera gx especially now with all the chrome extensions on there as well as opera gx's own extensions. And on top of that, too, to make it even simpler, there's actually ways to actually go and synchronize your browsing data with Opera GX. And this is obviously all safe, and they're not trying to go sell your data or anything bad like that. When it comes to this, too, you just have to press in just the easy sign-in over here. You use your email address, and I go and type in mine that I use everywhere, and I go type in my good old password, and then guess what? Literally everything also gets easily carried over and synced as well. So you guys can see all this stuff. It's all encrypted, so you don't have to worry about that stuff, too. You press start, and you're good to go. And and last but not least, the best feature out here is the My Flow, which essentially lets you go and utilize the mobile and also just basically transfer files lickety split. You can go and share files, links, notes, and everything between your computer and your phone. It's probably one of the coolest features out there, especially for me, who is also on Twitter on my phone as well. So if you guys are skeptical or anything out there, please go and check on the link down below. It is a fantastic browser. I highly recommend it. Both, it's a free download with all these awesome, cool features, and honestly, they always just have cool features coming out non-stop anyway, so I'm not sure what you guys are waiting for. Go download it on down below, and let's go continue on the video itself. And thank you guys all so much, and Opera GX, for watching the first place. And thank you so much once again, Opera GX, for sponsoring this video, and it's actually probably the perfect segue for this video itself. Now, as you guys can probably go and tell by kind of like the doom and gloom title and all this, this is in regards to Xbox potentially starting to make a really big mistake. And this is in regards to ads. Now, as you guys probably know, ads do kind of make the world go around. I literally just did an ad over there for Opera GX, but I will go and stand by because we've actually promoted them on my channel before, that I do use them, and especially on my laptop, it's probably my number one actual like browser itself. But the one big struggle is that while ads are, it makes the world go around. On my YouTube video, there's ads and there's other stuff on Twitch or mobile games or even other various stuff. When it comes to games and gaming in a whole, especially with microtransactions, DLCs, and just overall a lot of games that are now even pushing $70, 
this is a really not good future. This is like a big warning myself that I would not be happy with Microsoft and Xbox now trying their best to go and insert proper advertisements into games. Now, we do know they want to more so prioritize it on free-to-play games, and we do know they want to go push it towards a certain standard, but it's not cool. Now, we're going to talk about the article itself. We're going to give a little bit more details into it because we actually have some leaks and information in regards to it. But I guess first and foremost... What do you guys think? If you guys are, say, playing a game like a Fortnite, say you guys are playing a game like, say, maybe Halo, especially because you know in regards to Xbox, Forza, or even maybe a PlayStation, Nintendo game, is this something that bothers you? Is this something that you guys care about? Because for my own self, I do not want to see it. I'm someone who's out there, and I've actually probably paid and given Microsoft a lot of money. I'm currently on a Windows PC. You know, I currently am subscribed to Game Pass. I do play other games, say Halo. I've done a lot of the Game Pass type style games, just in general. But I've also done a lot of things like Battle Passes in various games. So at this point, there's even a potential for me having Game Pass on a Windows PC, playing a game that I paid money for, or more so in Game Pass as well, or maybe did microtransactions to, say, like, think of Battle Pass. And that's already a four-way thing into now ads being played into my game itself and i do feel like this is a very very not good slippery slope when it comes to games like xbox games because if you're an advertiser you want to go make your ads loud you want to make them proud and you want people to go and see them if you're a big business you want to be making money you want to keep on churning money and especially if a free-to-play game is you can try your best to justify it although a lot of these free-to-play games have a lot of microtransactions think fortnite and although that game is free it's grossing so much money, let alone games like League of Legends or other various free-to-play games out there, even Halo itself. The people want the skins, they want the battle passes, they want all this other various stuff that you have to spend money on. So these things are some of the most profitable games, or I think mobile gaming especially. Now, I understand the idea, though, if you have, like, say, a free-to-porn platform. So things, say, for YouTube. Like, I definitely run ads on my YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys see them on occasion. Or even, like, say, our sponsored ads. But the one big difference for me is that I do understand that ads make the world go around. Around. And for at least for YouTube, it's not the worst because you're not necessarily missing out on content or things like, say, for me, I try my very, very hardest to always give back to you guys watching, whether it's in the forms of giveaways or at least myself, just try my best to help out. And, like, you know, not like if I run an ad, I want someone like you guys to go and benefit from it. So I always give that's why we've given out so many PlayStations. But that's why, like, sometimes ads can be done poorly. So think Twitch. If you're watching a Twitch live stream, if you guys want to follow the Twitch, you guys can. But a lot of the times, there's issues because if an ad is ran, you actually miss content. Or at the same time, too, advertisers want to make their stuff big and it definitely can take you out of immersion or at the same time what if it's a brand you just don't like what if there's issues with it what if there's just like it's just too much and i just already kind of feel like this is going down a really bad slippery slope especially because i do think the xbox overall brand has been kind of having some pretty good takes as of recently but in case you guys are more curious there's a report right now with the future of xbox games that actually might have ads as the technology right now is being developed and this is not cool to see like this was leaked this is really at least to me not cool now once again i will reiterate i don't mind doing ads like if i see a youtuber doing a sponsor or even how i did over there i'll check it out if i think it's a cool product and that's why i try my best on youtube to only promote out things i think you guys would like because that overall is a browser i actually use it's a good prop broad product like proper product but like what if there's something like a reebok in my random xbox game it's not cool or what if the game itself is overall bad so i just wasted all my download to go and check out a game that's really mediocre or on top of that what if i already spent the money what if i already spent like a hundred dollars in a game like fortnite and then i'm still seeing ads it really does ruin the gaming experience and i do not want to see this being a norm i understand why a company like xbox or microsoft wants it i understand why advertisers wouldn't mind it too as well but it's not a good time so now to finally get to the article itself raise your hands not me uh, if you're excited and just want to see more ads inside your favorite video game. I don't see any hands that I'm pretty sure a lot of my community would agree. Well, bad news. A new report claims that Microsoft is building an advertising program to give select brands the ability to buy ads that will then appear in free-to-play Xbox games. Now, I do want to first and foremost go and say at least it is more so for free-to-play games. If I had to spend $70, $60 on a game itself and there's ads, which has happened and does happen on top of microtransactions, it's not a good vibe and I don't like it. But as well, at least for when it comes to free to play, that is somewhat normalized though when it comes to mobile gaming, where a lot of mobile games obviously have ads or ad support, etc., etc. Do I like that? No. Do I support that? No. Do I want this in like games like Fortnite? Absolutely not. Because as I mentioned, you have microtransactions, you have battle passes, you have skins. 
So at that point, why would you even want to go and pay extra money if they're also going to try their best to milk you in the first place? And while the report does go and say that Microsoft and Xbox are being careful to not irritate players or disrupt games, it's unlikely most folks will enjoy starting to see ads in games. And I'm going to agree with that because I just don't like the overall idea of it just ruins the immersion. If it's a bad brand, it stinks. If they try to go make it just, they always try to go inch just a little bit further every single time. This should be a hard stop. I do not want extra ads in my video games. I don't want audio that's interfering my game in my video games. I don't want to see random brands and random billboards unless there's like a proper like reason for them actually being there, which most of the time it's not, in my games. Now, Business Insider reports that Microsoft wants to work with ad tech companies to create a system that will allow brands and advertisers to buy and place ads in free-to-play Xbox games. According to two people who spoke to insiders, so apparently this has been leaked out for many various times, and who are reportedly involved with the program's ongoing planning and negotiations. So we know it's already in progress. Like, we know it's in motion. And I don't like seeing this. I don't like knowing about this. So according to these sources, the ads could appear as digitally rendered billboards in, like, a racing game or an open-world adventure. However, it's currently unknown what other forms these free-to-play ads can manifest as. And as I mentioned before, a lot of these companies usually get like kind of big backlash. And this should be a hard no. This should be like a no matter what hard no experience. Because I don't want to have to see this. I don't want to have to deal with games in my game. <laughs> I don't want to deal with ads in my game. And although they might go maybe start off very unintrusive, five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, they could get more and more and more bad. What if you had to go have literally watch an unskippable ad before you played your Fortnite game because they had to pay for server cost? That would be awful. What if you had to go and literally have, like, what if there's, like, an actual audio that ruins it so you can't hear someone behind you? Awful. And although, like, they're trying their best to kind of teeter-totter in, if you had a company that was like, hey, we'll give you, like, 20 times the usual, let's try this out, some companies would, like, really enough to say yes. And that's not cool. So as of right now, uh, like I said, they don't necessarily currently know how they're going to work out here. And Business Insider is also unable to confirm if Microsoft and Xbox have started pitching advertisers and brands. So, like, we're not sure if, like, Xbox is like, hey, we got Fortnite. You want to go and put some ads in our Fortnite game as of right now? Or, hey, you want to go do it in Halo? Uh, regardless, though, people are expecting this to maybe go launch around the third quarter this year. A spokesperson for Microsoft told Kotaku that while it's always looking for ways to improve the experience for players and developers, the company had nothing further to share about the reported ad program, which is also not good because they, if they don't want to talk about it, it's probably not as good as you expect. So as pointed out by Business Insider, Microsoft does already sell some limited ad space and console. And I do see this on occasion in games. I think even like sometimes, you know, like even Sony games have it to kind of equal out the leveling field. And it's not cool, because this is from third parties. And even whenever I see that stuff, I don't like it. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's like a fun or nifty thing to kind of work in and over here. I don't think it's nice. I don't think it's cool. I don't really like it. It's just not a good experience mixed on in. So when it comes to this stuff, I don't like it. I really, really don't like this stuff at all. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's nice. It's not cool. I don't like this. I don't want Xbox to keep on doing this. This should be a hard stop. The gaming community as a whole should not enjoy this in any capacity whatsoever. So, this is not cool. Give me your thoughts. I, I don't know. There's so much more I can say. There's so many other things I could talk about. And we don't want people to get anger, angered. Like, even, like, Microsoft itself is saying they just want to have people concerned about angering gamers who don't usually expect to encounter ads in console games. It should be a hard stop, hard no, and we shouldn't hear about it anymore. And like we said, we've seen stuff, ironically, too. Funny enough, you can see, like, St. Rome has had a chance to go and put into whole games and whole real game billboards. But once again, this is just not something that should be shown in the first place itself. So, not cool, not fun, don't enjoy this, and please, X box heat our warnings do not go and do this in the future please and thank you as well once again just big thank you over here to opera gx make sure you guys do go and download it in the link down below in the very top of the description as well and everything else too i do appreciate you guys all so much for that and thank you opera gx for sponsoring the video i just want to say thank you guys all so much for watching have a good rest of your nights good easters and all that good stuff and uh yeah give me your thoughts because i'm just i'm upset i don't think this is cool i don't like this at all